Next is Tyler Hilbert with Cosmic Reach Custom Guitars. Give me the clicker. And Hello. All right, so I'm Tyler Hilbert. Uh, this is Cosmic Reach Custom Guitars. This is how we're going to utilize 3D printing to create custom shaped guitars for the same price as production line models. Um, so the problem I identified is creating custom shaped guitars is not a very scalable operation. And the indicator for this is that if you want a custom shaped guitar, it's gonna cost you four to $10,000. But despite this really hefty price tag, you're still gonna have to wait 14 to 24 months uh, to get your guitar. And the reason for this is it's not a very scalable operation. So by utilizing 3D printing, what I've done is I've proven that I can create custom shaped guitars for a one to six month wait time. Um, and these will be sold for two to $4,000 uh, and manufactured for one to $2,000. Uh, so here's sort of a demo. You can see, if you look up here, this is a web-based prototype I wrote in JavaScript. Uh, so you can see there's different quadrants and basically you're able to swap out uh, the, the shape in each quadrant. So then this middle picture here, this is a interchangeable 3D model. So you can see that it's, uh, I think it's five different guitar shapes overlapped. And then there's inflection points. If you can see on the, uh, there's inflection points where all the models line up. And then basically this, this end result is what you can see we actually created. So if you look at the, uh, the corners in the top right are different shapes and that's because we were able to, through software, just interchange the shape. Uh, so it's a fully automated, seamless process to sort of swap out different quadrants and create a custom shape uh, and then it can be manufactured and delivered in a timely fashion. Uh, so the overall guitar market size is 1.5 billion, uh, but we're not really targeting the entire guitar market. Uh, we're looking at USA built, uh, like custom guitars that are also electric. So if we just look at the market size for USA built electric guitars, it's 250 million per year. Um, and then in a survey we did uh, to see who would be interested in this, we found two thirds of people would be interested. Uh, so that puts our serviceable available market at 167 uh, million per year. So the business model is to target people 30 to 45 years old. Uh, they're male. They've most likely been playing guitar for over a decade. Uh, they make over $60,000 a year, uh, and they probably already have a collection of guitars. Uh, and they're really looking for something new. Uh, so that's really who we're targeting. Um, and we really plan to reach them by uh, going to trade shows mostly, but then also guitar forums would be another great place to sell them. Uh, so for the competition, Halo and Kijel are the most well-known for custom guitars, while Gibson and Fender are the most well-known for electric guitars. Um, so the team, so there's me, I have a BS and I'm working on my ME in computer engineering. Um, and then my partner is Ian Campbell, who has a BS in biomedical engineering, and he works full time as a CAD engineer right now. Uh, so the lessons learned, uh, the biggest thing is I come from a software engineering background. Uh, so I haven't really done like 3D printing before this. And I learned that uh, like 3D printing something and then adding electronics to it and then adding hardware to it uh, is not very scalable uh, and it's very costly. It's a lot more scalable just to write software. Uh, and then there's a lot bigger margins. Um, so one of the other things I learned is that we were, we were pushed to really talk to potential customers. And when I did this, I learned that a lot of customers actually prefer wood guitars over 3D printed guitars. Uh, so it's a little concerning that the, um, the manufacturing method we use will cut out some of the customers. Um, and the other thing we were pushed to do uh, at 1819 was talk to other people uh, that do similar stuff to us. Uh, and while doing this, I found that guitar bodies actually don't take that much time to manufacture. It's mostly the, the necks and then sanding them and doing the finishes that takes a lot of time. Uh, so if I am looking to disrupt the market, I think uh, targeting uh, necks or painting or sanding the guitars would be a better approach for that. Uh, so what's next for me is I sort of want to go back to software because that's where I'm more comfortable with. Uh, I really want to create a scalable uh, tech startup uh, so what I'm looking to do is utilize some of the things I learned while interning at Qualcomm and then also being a web developer uh, to create a last mile delivery startup. Uh, so really the problem that I'm focusing on is how do you uh, identify the exact location that you want uh, a semi or a fully autonomous package delivery to be landed on. 
Uh, so, so really just like selling cloud services to help facilitate that uh, would be great. So if anybody knows anybody that has experience with drones or autonomous navigation uh, or just deliveries in general, uh, that'd be great. I'd like to talk to them. All right, thanks, Tyler. Um, I'm so proud of him uh, because he came in with an idea he was really excited about, explored it, um, and learned a lot about um, the process and what it takes to scale up and what may be um, a strong idea for that. And you're taking that to the next step, which is exploring an idea you think will be stronger. So that is what we really hope for um, as an outcome to this program and that you took to heart what our EIRs shared with you um, and that you um, grew and learned from the program. And we hope to see you again with um, this next level idea. So thank you very well, thank much. Thank you. Yeah, does anybody have any questions for Tyler before? No, okay, thank you very much.